Welcome to another lunchtime on Cooking with Jerry. I'm trying the microphone because it's raining and uh, there's a metal roof right above my head and I don't think my voice would carry. I just have to remember I'm limited by the length of the wire and I probably can't reach the stove. But let's go to a previous segment from this morning to show you what we are going to prepare for lunch. Here's a breakfast type porridge. It's been sitting for about half an hour to cool off and to thicken so the ingredients can absorb the water. But here are the ingredients. Equal parts of amaranth and quinoa which are seeds and whole grain wheat and three tablespoons of flax seed and water which is about a two to one ratio for the seeds and the grain but also a bit extra because the flax will absorb water and two tablespoons of salted butter that cooked for about 20 minutes then I added celery and carrot cooked for another 15 minutes and then right at the end three tablespoons of chia and one teaspoon of coarse grain pink salt that cooked for about one minute and then I turned the fire off and as I said it's been sitting for about half an hour Okay, so you saw what my breakfast was. I think the important thing to know is the seeds, amaranth uh, and kaniwa I use also sometimes. Can't wash them beforehand because they're so small that they fall through the holes of the strainer unless they're soaked overnight. And I didn't plan on it, so I didn't wash the amaranth. But the quinoa and the whole grain wheat, I did wash uh, before I put it in the water. Um, and the option to soak overnight, uh, there's a difference of opinion among the experts. I personal, personally think that it just helps with absorption in the body because uh, water has more time to get deeper into the seed or grain. Uh, the flax seed I was also able to wash, um, but the chia seed can't wash. I don't remember what happened the one time I tried to wash it, but it just can't wash the chia seed. So, um, and the reason why I like to add either of the whole grain wheat or a brown rice with the seeds is because it's more satisfying for me to chew. Uh, just having the seeds alone, it's a bit too empty, the mouthful a bit too airy. So I like to add a bit more substance, which you could do as well. But let's get started on lunch. Here I have about two tablespoons of water that's already at a boil, checking the wire. I am going to add about one tablespoon of virgin olive oil and forgive me if I'm speaking too loud or not loud enough. First time trying the microphone. Here I have just some chopped up pieces of broccoli that I'm going to heat up in the frying pan. And also, I have about 10 hazelnuts, 10 almonds, and two Brazil nuts that I washed and I just cut up into random smaller pieces. So these I don't really want to cook, I just want to heat up and have a warm lunch. And my spatula. Give that a quick stir. So probably a couple of minutes here with the heat, these ingredients, and then I'll add the leftovers from this morning. Now with this kind of leftover, there's lots of possibilities. 
Uh, I had it this morning as a breakfast type porridge. Uh, you could add fruit, um, banana would be nice. I was going to add avocado, but it's not quite ready. I have two of them here that I bought and this one fell from a tree just about 20 meters from here. It's still really firm. Uh, but really soon the avocados are going to be dropping. There's a big tree really close. I've got my eyes on it to see when the fruit starts dropping. You could uh, make this kind of porridge into a dessert. Uh, not with broccoli or carrot or celery, but with fruit, dried fruit. Uh, you could also add chocolate chips. Um, you could turn it into a bread with the leftovers I could use part of it and combine it with some different powders nut seed root powders and a bit of flour a couple of eggs some baking soda and if you have an oven stick it in the oven and in about 40 minutes or an hour you'll have a healthier bread than what you find at the grocery store um, and experiment. Uh, this kind of porridge, if you add a bit of sweet stuff, it might even be nice with an ice cream, a scoop of ice cream or a piece of cake. On the other side, you have the savory or the salty version, which is what I'm doing. You could use that as your side dish instead of uh, potatoes, french fries, rice or pasta. These kinds of seeds and whole grains provide a lot more nutrition than uh, just the regular white rice or the pasta or potatoes. So this is pretty much done. Most of the water has either evaporated or been absorbed by the ingredients. So now I'm going to add the leftovers from this morning. It has thickened up uh, in these hours between breakfast and lunch. And I just want it to be warm because it's a chilly day with this rain and it's much more enjoyable to have a warm meal. Uh, what else did I want to say? Ah, yes, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I am making for the first time sauerkraut and it turned out well. I have it behind me. I'll show you in a second. I put it in three glass jars and I'm going to wait at least a few days before I try it. Here it is. Uh, looks good. I tried a tablespoonful of it yesterday just to see if I had put enough salt and it seems like there's enough salt. Uh, first time experiment. I'm probably going to make some mistakes. but. You learn from the mistakes. <clears throat> what I was also going to add into this dish is some pure solid cocoa that uh, I have a piece of right here. <clears throat> and why don't we do it? Why not? So here's a piece of solid pure cocoa from a farm not too far from here. Uh, the cocoa bean is dried, then roasted, and then milled so that it turns into liquid. And then they put it in these molds, usually a round mold. And I am just going to shave off a little bit of this solid piece. And uh, it'll melt with the heat of the ingredients in the frying pan. Pure cocoa, even up to 80% dark chocolate, I've learned recently is really healthy for the gut microbiome, which I'm learning a lot about. That was almost a tablespoon of pure cocoa. 
And that's the also, the also reason, the also reason that I made uh, the sauerkraut because I'm learning about prebiotics and probiotics. There's new science. I don't know how new it is. It's new for me. If I understood correctly, the prebiotics is food for the probiotics, which is the good bacteria that's in your intestine. So I want to try and introduce more food for my gut because the healthier that the gut microbiome is, the healthier that your body will be. So this probably one more minute to heat up and then I'll turn the heat off, excuse me. But let me show you, trying not to trip over my wire, what today's lunch will be. Oh, sorry about that. There it is. Healthy, nutritious, tasty. And with that cocoa, it gives a nice chocolate flavor. So my recommendation, the reason why I am doing this kind of porridge again with another video is to show that there's so many variations from the sweet to the salty and even making this into a bread or a pancake. Uh, I don't think I'd put it in a waffle iron because the grain and the seed, if it's touching the grill of the waffle iron, it's a too high a potential to burn. But in the oven, it would be great. And I have suggested before, you could put some grated cheese on top, maybe even some uh, leftover meat, chicken, fish, bacon, uh, ground beef would be tasty. So please try something similar and I know you'll enjoy it and you'll have fun experimenting with the different combinations and I hope uh, you have a very healthy and tasty meal. Thank you for watching. Ah, I'm going to turn the fire off now. I think it's good enough.